Welcome to SunPower Equinox Pro Tips. This video will demonstrate attaching the Invisamount rails to installed L feet. We'll bolt the rails into position, then align their ends and level the rails. We'll assume you have already installed the flashings and the L feet are ready for a rail attachment. Let's get started. You'll need a ratcheting torque wrench with a capacity of at least 375 inch pounds, a 15 millimeter deep socket, measuring tape, a speed square, and a string line, plus T-bolts and nuts. For every three 96 cell AC modules in Portrick, you'll need two Invisimount rails, an upper and a lower. With the L-feet fully installed, position the rails with the side channel facing the outer side of the L-feet. Insert the T-bolt into the side channel of the rail, twist it 90 degrees to the right, and fit the exposed bolt through the slot in the L-foot. Then finger tighten the nut onto the T-bolt. The T-bolts have marks on the heads to show that the back of the bolt is in the correct position. Pro tip, position each bolt at the midpoint of the vertical L-foot slot. This will provide the greatest flexibility in leveling the rails later, especially with irregular roofs with high and low points. Measure from the gable to find the edge of the array and align the bottom rail. Set the height of each end of the bottom rail with the speed square and tighten the T-bolt nut at each end of the rail to 375 inch pounds. Place and lightly bolt the remaining rails and repeat the positioning steps for the topmost rail only. Pro tip, do not tighten any of the T-bolt nuts at attachment points between the ends of rails. We'll take care of those a little later. Align the remaining rail ends at the starting side of the array this end will not be cut. Use a string line at the ends of the top and bottom rails for alignment. Move the string line over the top of the lower and upper rails to ensure an even plane. Once satisfied that your middle rails are level, tighten the nuts to 375 inch pounds. Repeat this on the other side to set the mid array rails evenly across. And now you should tighten the remaining T-bolts and nuts to the same torque. Voila! The rails are level, the nuts and bolts are set to the manufacturer torque specs, and you're ready to prepare your modules. Thanks for watching this training video. To learn more, check out the description for links to helpful resources and other training videos.